Hello Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I'm going to take a look at your connection with your person in love. Keep in mind it is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with everybody. You can always check your other placements or you can get a personal reading from me and I'll leave that information in the description box below. So what's going on here? with Sagittarius and their person in love. What's going on here with Sagittarius and their person in love? We have separation. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Trust, this situation is calling for you to have faith. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Ooh, and we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher form of commitment. And then also reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay. Sagittarius so I see things starting to level up for you with this person um, I do see that there is some type of separation with you right now uh, emotional distance I see you separated from this person feeling kind of distant when it comes to them and I feel as though your trust has really been tested by this person and because of that I see you having this conversation with them so what you don't know is that there's going to be a conversation with this person uh, where you guys are going to both be speaking from your feelings and just laying it all down exactly what it is that you are wanting from this situation so ace of pentacles i do feel as though um you are going to be getting a new beginning with this person here who you are in separation from they are coming in with an offer something solid some commitment devotion and the reason why is because um through this time period where you guys have not been speaking and healing and moving on from this situation I feel as though they try to move on or you guys try to move on from each other and it's like as soon as you try to do that you guys kind of get pulled back towards each other here and they are coming in with they didn't expect to fall in love with you the way that they did and for that reason this person wants to come in or that's how you're feeling but on both sides I'm feeling like things are mutual here you both feel the same way about each other and I do feel as though you guys are kind of mirroring each other when it comes to your feelings here in the sense you you didn't expect that you would feel this way towards them and they didn't either and things just happened accidentally accidentally falling in love for each other <laughs> tell me about flirt so ace of swords another so we're getting new beginnings for sure here fresh start um your person is starting to think about you a lot i'm thinking about taking action towards you, going after you, and getting what it is that they want here. You could be dealing with a fire sign like yourself, but they are getting huge awakenings when it comes to you. This person definitely wants something long term here when it comes to this connection. And um, I'm definitely kind of getting the vibes that you, this connection could be inter, interracial. The reason why I'm saying that is because like um, there's a white hand, there's a black hand here. So you guys could definitely be interracial. 
but regardless this person wants to like move towards you and they want to take action here because they see you as somebody who is very abundant and you make things happen and they like what they're seeing and on top of that um they they do have feelings for you and they want to give to this connection here want to balance things out because they don't want to be left out in the cold anymore by you. Um, they don't want to be in the situation of struggle. They're feeling kind of abandoned and upset about the fact that um, there is some type of separation with you guys here. And they want to come back in and they want to give to you. So this person wants to give to you their emotions. They want to give to you their investments in you. So emotional investment financial investment, mental investment, spiritual investment is how your person is, is starting to think now. So they're starting to think about you very seriously here. And I feel as though you were the one that walked away from this person because you weren't getting what it is that you wanted or this is how you're feeling right now. Like you're, you're feeling like you need to walk away from this because you've put in a lot of emotions in this connection here and you've examined everything that's been going on between you guys and you're just not you're not starting to feel satisfied in this connection so i see you kind of moving away from them possibly a, a water sign pisces cancer scorpio because you've been juggling the fact that you have a lot of love for this person and you do want something long-term and committed, but the path that you're going towards, uh, there has been some tension in kind of getting what it is that you want from this situation. So I feel like you weren't getting the type of commitment that you, that you wanted, and then you guys had some type of fallout here with the Five of Swords. And, um, and it's... Now I feel like you're starting to overthink things. You're thinking about this person a lot since you've been gone, since you left this situation. Because for one, you still have a lot of feelings for them with the Ten of Cups. You do have love for them. And you do want commitment when it comes to this person. You want things to get to the next level here. But I feel it as though like you kind of lost faith in that. Look, six of cups so you're gonna have a conversation with each other so this is what you don't know is that um this person from your past is coming in to apologize they're coming in to give you an offer of love because they're they miss you a lot you both miss each other a lot here want to want to give to this connection again and nurture it they see you as uh, somebody who they care about very deeply and they want to nurture this connection with you so we also have a capricorn virgo or taurus here and they don't want to be left out in the dark by you over time i do see them coming in and i feel like it's been a while since you've talked to this person already and you've been waiting or they this person has been waiting somebody's been waiting and somebody's been feeling like um really scared to approach this situation but i see it happening anyways i see this conversation and i see you guys having uh, a reconciliation and reconnecting with each other emotionally and i see you kind of like juggling um, whether or not you do want to take things to the next level here with the two of pentacles. Um, and I see that your, your intuition is going to be very strong here once you have this conversation with this person. And I see you getting your, I see you getting a wish fulfillment here, getting what it is that you wanted in the past. But I feel like there's been so much time that has uh, passed you guys. So much time that you guys haven't really spoken to each other. That at this point, it's like there's been so much time that has passed that I don't even know if I want this 
um, if I want this commitment anymore. I don't even know if I want to take things to the next level or reconcile here uh, because I emotionally detached myself from this situation or I have uh, a king of swords person in my life who makes me really happy with the nine of cups but I see you kind of juggling weighing out your options on if you want to take this offer that they're coming to you with because I feel as though they're giving you a commitment but it comes with a but and you have to find out what that but is because we did get the moon card and there are still some things that you don't know from this person and I just feel like this person has a tendency to be very secretive what else is going on here with Sagittarius and their person what else is going on here we have dating queen yes yeah, so I see that like through this separation you have started to date other people or there's uh, been people that have been asking you out on dates wanting new people that have been um, asking you out and stuff and I see that um, there this person is going to be communicating with you very very soon here there's gonna be a lot of back and forth communication uh, clearing th clearing the air being very honest, being very truthful. But I still feel as though like they are going to be very honest with you and you don't have to worry about if they're what they're saying is true. It's just a matter of they're not saying everything. Like there's more that you don't know, but what they are telling you is honest. And then yeah, you feel like there's just so many obstacles when it comes to this person, bumps in the roads and blockages. Tell me about heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Yes, yeah, so I see you having this conversation. I see you having a conversation with a mature man. Or somebody who's mature for their age. Who has a lot of wisdom. This is the person coming in to have a conversation with you. And you're this person is a blonde female. Yeah, or you or this person could be a mature man, but I see you. I see you kind of juggling things here. I feel as though like you have an option, possibly between like a fair male and a mature man, or maybe this mature man is this fair male. But I see you kind of just, just like juggling your options at this point. And not making a decision right away. Because you're kind of feeling like there's just there's just too much, too many obstacles when it comes to this person. What else is going on here? With Sagittarius. We have there's something better. So you feel as though there is something better. And we have in the near future, you're going to end up, um, I feel as though in the near future, you're going to be walking away from a situation that you don't feel emotionally satisfied in. And success, because you feel like there's success with somebody else here. And we have asked for help from others. So this person that you're dealing with, that you have in mind, is asking for help on how to communicate with you here so asking help from friends i'm hearing yeah and i see you saying no to somebody or just having like some really um tough boundaries when it comes to your romantic life and staying positive and being optimistic i feel as though you are getting a lot of attention and you know what it is that you deserve in a situation here and you're you're keeping up your faith because I feel like you have a lot of, um, you have some very high standards for yourself, as you should. And you have a lot of respect for yourself um, from the time that you see this video. Okay, so that's what I'm getting for you guys. If you like this reading, please comment, like, and subscribe. 
and hit the notification bell so you can be updated for future videos. Let me know if it resonated and I hope that you found guidance and clarity in your situation. Thank you for watching. Bye.